Okay, folks, another, yeah, we have a Christmas throwback, but it's something very important that a lesson to be learned, a piece of shit that it is, and it, it's not a real Christmas gift. It doesn't, typically you won't announce to nothing and you just get a singing, sinking feeling knowing it's not going to do anything really exciting like a Christmas gift should. It's just a piece of commercialised crap. Just a load of shit. Just a disappointment you receive on a Christmas, uh, Christ, around Christmas time, and yeah, it's a real letdown. But you know, people think probably aren't like me in that sort of way, thinking like that. They think maybe Lady Luck is shining on them, and Lady Luck doesn't exist. See what we can make out of this. Okay, let's see what this piece of shit is. It is a Christmas gift instant scratchy. Really? How likely is that going to win? You know, and, and scratchies, you know, are not quite like lotteries, like Powerball or... or but still, they're, they're really expensive and they, again, hardly pay out. How often you... They're a gamble. Whether it be Powerball, whether it be scratchies, it's all gambling, it's all money-making wrought for the companies that, that produce these lotteries. And they're just laughing all the way to the bank at the expense of everyone else who plays them. You know, don't give these bitches any kind of leeway. Don't make them laugh their way to the bank. Make them cry their way to the uh, Centrelink office because they can't afford to produce any more of these tickets because everyone has fucking boycotted them. If you could just boycott this shit, folks, make them poor, make them suffer, make them squeal like pigs off to the slaughter. Don't make them squeal like pigs in mud. Don't fucking give them any fucking money to play these fucking dumb dumb lotteries. They, they, they are, they're dumb dumb. And people who play them are like behaving like they're dumb as well. Gullible. You know, that's like the old joke at school. Oh, they took the word gullible out of the dictionary. What a load of shit. I remember people used to say that to me at school and uh, thinking I'd be stupid enough. But you know what, well, really? It's like people believe that, that happened, you know, that people are so fucking stupid to play these dumb, dumb games of chance. Yes, I know there are winners. I know there's the odd winner that has a life-changing Powerball win, but how often, folks, how fucking often does that happen? It's rare. You know, don't play these games. Don't fucking give them money. As, you know, make them squeal in agony that they're not making money, that suddenly these things are going out of vogue and for good. That's what you got to do, folks. Show these bitches. They're rich. They don't need your fucking money. They just rely on you for, to be fucking gullible to play these dumb, dumb games. And that's come up looking really quite interesting. I do think maybe a bit more taken off, or maybe we'll leave it like that. Maybe we'll just, maybe a bit smaller. But yeah, they're really, they're just games of chance, you know. The more you play, the more you lose. I know when I was at high school, my maths teacher, Mr. Aroni, told me that the more you play, the more you lose when it comes to poker machines. But it's not just poker machines, folks. It applies to any kind of gambling fixture. Horse racing, greyhound racing, you name it, it's there. And it's just there to make money for them. They're not a benevolent society. They're not a fucking uh, charity. They're not going to give you money just because you're poor. No, they're just going to take your fucking money. That's what they do. It's, it's a lottery. Yeah, It's a fucking game of chance, you know. It doesn't pay to play these dumb games. It really doesn't. 
You know, don't play them, folks. Just ignore the bitches. You know, just start a protest against gambling. Yeah, right, as if people power's going to get us out of that. But I'm still going to try to t- speak up against this crap anyway. Uh, I'll try my best to to give the world my ten cents, so as to speak. I know when I watch the Channel 9 news, they like to air Powerball winners, and I know that's really dumb, and yet they have to by law, I think, when they're showing a Ladbrokes commercial, for example, to, to put up a gambling aware message to say there's a phone number or an email or or a a website you can visit if you've got problems gambling. So it's really quite difficult how people. Uh, I don't know, folks. The world really pisses me off, and the love of money, which is what this is all about, really annoys the fuck out of me. I just want to tear it apart like I want to tear that lottery ticket apart. And in fact, I might do that, actually. I just thought about it, folks, to show my hatred for scratch lotteries. Scratch my ass. I'm a person who can't afford this shit because I'm on a disability support pension and I basically have to uh, work in a disability job because I'm fucking disabled. So I can't make money to even play these dumb, dumb games on a regular basis. I'm not interested anyway. And this has come up looking really quite a treat. That's really nice, the colours and that and the shapes. Now we're just going to do our fucking what we said we are going to do, just to show my hatred for this shit. So, you know, this is for you instant scratchies, you fucking assholes, you money fuckers. Take this and shit yourselves, fuckwits. I hope I, when I go on television, I'm going to give you fuckers a bad name. I'm going to destroy your fucking business. You know, you fucking assholes, you fucktards. Take your lotteries and stick it up your ass. Yeah, suck you, fuck you, bitches. Stupid gambling. I hate gambling. And this is it. Gotta go.